It's really simple. Basically, I have about five pounds of chicken breast here. I've done up to 10 pounds. Depends on how much meal prep you feel like doing. It's about five pounds of chicken breast in here. I use some jerk chicken seasoning. Um, I know that that's not in the 21 day fix. Um, I did make some Southwest seasoning from the, uh, the plant and it's really, really good. I had it this morning on my eggs. Um, so I strongly suggest that you mix up some of the seasonings. I just use the old spice containers and save them and then use them. So much better because that stuff that you buy in the store, like the packaged taco seasoning, don't use that. Like it's, it is, um, hold on. I don't know if I'm gonna get kicked off here, but um, it's full of like MSG and just harmful stuff. So try to make your own seasonings when you can. If you need help, just message me. Plus there's all kinds of recipes in this book. Okay, so back to the chicken. It's just um, chicken breast. I put a little bit of olive oil and some jerk chicken seasoning, but you could use any kind of seasoning. You could make this Mexican like, you know, style with like this seasoning. You could do Italian. Um, you can just kind of make it your own. So I marinated it overnight. You don't have to marinate it overnight. You can just do like a few hours. Um, so I just had it covered in the fridge. Now I'm going to grill it. I have this George Foreman grill. It's just an indoor grill and I love it. I love this thing. It's awesome. I don't like to go outside and mess with that guy's stuff. And you know, I don't want to bug my husband all the time to do it for me. So I just use this. Of course, it's going to be much faster outside, but um, if you don't have one of these and you don't like to grill outside, I would recommend it. I do my burgers, my turkey burgers on this. Works great. Just get a cheap one. So what you're going to do is you're going to grill the chicken and then when you're done, you're gonna, I just get like a big plate or a thing like this. You're just gonna put it all on here. And I guess I can go ahead and get started and do this video, but I'm not getting anything done. Um, those breasts are way too thick. I'm gonna have to cut those. I would recommend that you cut them. Well, normally I cut them thinner. I cut, like these are too thick. I'm gonna get, when I stop this, I'm gonna cut them in half. I'm going to cut them, I'm going to fillet them down the middle. Let me wash my hands. And um, that way they'll cook a little faster and I don't have to worry about part of it not cooking right or whatever. Um, okay. Alright, so once that's cooked, I'm going to let it cool and then I'm going to cut it into three to four ounce servings. I'm not sure how much fits in here, but I'm assuming it's probably three to four ounces. Uh, you can also, something else that I like to do, um, oh, and then just a quick tip. Before the 21 day fix, I used a scale. So I would just scale out three to four ounces of chicken, and then that way I would know how to cut it. Okay, so once it's cooked, I'm going to go ahead and chop up some of that. So you can either keep them in like three ounce, you know, just cut them into three ounce, four, three to four ounce portions like this, and then you can just take your chicken breast out and heat it up. Um, or you can go ahead and cut the, the chicken into bite-sized pieces and then put it in a plastic baggie. And, and that way you have individual servings that you can take with you. So like you go into work, you can just get your bag of chicken, your salad, everything, go to work, and then it should be thawed out by the time you get to work. If not, you can just pop it in the oven, not in the plastic bag, of course, um, and then microwave it. So basically to warm it up, I'll say it again, you just take out your chicken breast, put it in a bowl or a plate, and then microwave it for about 30 seconds to a minute until it's hot. And it's gonna taste great. It's gonna taste fresh, it's not gonna taste weird, and um, you just have a really quick, easy meal. I love to have these made up because some nights it's just like crazy, and you know, you're running around, and you got soccer practice, and you got this and that, and you don't have time, and this is like a great fast food meal. Like, if I need to, I can give the kids a chicken sandwich, or, um, you know, I'll keep brown rice in the freezer and I can just microwave that real quick. And then, you know, chicken breast, brown rice, do some, uh, I love these steam, like all my veggies. Uh, let's see, I don't, of course I don't have any. But like, normally I get like the steam fresh bags so that all I have to do is throw it in the microwave and then it's good to go. So you don't have to worry about it. It's like easy, easy, always keep frozen veggies. And um, just keep it simple. Like seriously, this is one of the easiest meal prep right, one last thing, thing that I forgot to throw in there. You are gonna need a meat thermometer. You can um, guesstimate, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes per chicken breast. 
but I like to use this and I take the internal temperature to about 165, um, 170, and then that's when I take it off. So I just cook it on there, about five minutes into it, check it, if it's ready, take it off, put it over here. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. And it's nice and it's got grill marks, so I really like using this. Hope that helps.